The following contest is a gauntlet turmoil match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Eliminations can occur by pinfall, submission, disqualification, or countouts. The match will be won if the first entrant eliminates all other entrants in the match. He's here and holding two championships. And from Oklahoma, weighing in at 225 pounds, the 24-7 champion and the pure world's champion, the prototype Brandon. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt, this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. Standing tall with both of his titles, he's not planning to let go of either one of them anytime soon. Austin Connor is here. Bean Town represent. And representing the Toxic Table from Massachusetts. Weighing in at 240 pounds. Boston Connor. I'm checking this guy's accolades. Apparently, he had a decorated high school football career. High school? Did you say high school? Somehow that's enough to land a job with McAfee. That speaks volumes. Connor says he is ready to unload his quiver on the opposition. He better have good aim because he is the target once the bell rings. The ref holding this title longer than you did, Saxton. Twenty-four-seven rules being temporarily suspended, and he goes for the pin. Kick out and one for the challenger. He's not even close to being done yet. A uh, bicycle knee strike. Yeah, yeah. Rip cord. Oh my goodness. Nasty line. See the electric chair. Nope. Rolling elbow right on the mark. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a ripcord lariat. What a combination. Just a blitz of offense on Connor here. Boston has got to get his wits about him. Oh, oh belly to back suplex with the penalty kick.
There's a Russian leg sweep. These will keep you down. Doling out as much damage as possible. Looking to silence the challenger once and for all. Right to the kidneys from behind. Oh, a knee to the face. Goes into the pin. Two. And the champ does not end it. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Look out. Able to sidestep it. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Counter on Connor pays off. Two. Bang! Three. Oh, he knew what was coming. Big clothesline! Boston is in the zone and letting the opposition know it. Wait, now why? Byron, what's the sense in this decision? I don't have an answer, Michael. If you can put him away, you should put him away. He can do it here. We got a referee out of commission here. Someone's gotta make a count. And he powers out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Oh! Connor able to evade. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Ripcord knee. Cover. Two count. That ends things for Boston Connor. He's just been eliminated. Around and around we go. I got lost in the entry pool, but believe me, this thing's far from over. Time for Hudson to enter the gauntlet and prove something. Slipped out. Inverted DDT connects. Uh oh. Harlem sidekick. Distress starting to show on Hudson's face. Duke needs to trust his instincts at this point. Mounted. Mounted palm strikes. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. strikes oh, just unloading knees to the body the champ just striking at will merciless display towards the challenger big knee to the midsection he was waiting for him to make his move great counter impressive ring iq on display there Utilizing a little pinchax to lap. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Oh, will this be enough? And a shoulder in the air. A truly impressive kick out this late. Three. Wow. Tope Atomico. The champ using every tool they have to protect their reign. Still a long road ahead with many roadblocks yet to enter the ring. Looks like next up in the gauntlet, it's Ty Schmidt. It's always great to be back in NXT. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Michael.
NXT has been such a pivotal point for many superstars in WWE. Ty is undergoing a thrashing. Schmidt's defenses are being mowed down. Oh, nails the midsection. Devastating elbow. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. And up the turnbuckles we go. Launching all the way to the outside. No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. And Ty just taunting his opponent now. Oh, God. Oh, ow. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Kicks to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here, relentlessly. Oh, he's got him by the leg. The foot DDT. Ty is undergoing a thrashing. Schmidt's defenses are being mowed down. Well placed, knees to the hamstring. Just going all out with every blow. He may not be aware of the count, he's gotta get back in. Ty just mocking him now. Oh man. Stiff elbow will break that up. Great reversal. Escape. Ty gets jolted by the counter. Going for it again. Cover. I think the champ's got it. Cover. Near fall. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot? Yet you can't give up now. And now the question runs in the mind: How am I good? Springboard. A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call it. Don't do it! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth it. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give is being brought to the table. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. What a boot. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And he's out of here. Schmidt's been eliminated. eliminated. I'm so caught up, I forgot where the hell we are in the entry list. Trust me, many more battles await. The next combatant is Carl Anderson, who's ready to take a crack at this gauntlet. Carl Ward 
starts that attack off. Crucial turnaround there because Carl was falling behind. Carl showing it's not a time for lying down. It's a time for fighting back. Carl just getting knocked around. Anderson. And he goes for the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Look out! Oh, what height! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Oh! Knee right to the face! Anderson is in a very vulnerable position here. Anderson getting set up. Continue. still have five more entries. Interesting. Sangha has a very good chance in this gauntlet match. in this matchup and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any second and that can be the instant that ends it all. Wow! And he's adamantly measuring it up one more time. Drop with the cutter. Another one bites the dust to the champ. So goes down. And that'll do it for Sanga's tenure in this gauntlet match. This is far from over. We got four more entrants ready to enter. It's looking like McDonough is fired up for this gauntlet. JD's got to find his spot and take advantage. Oh, 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 big boot. Ah, look at this. Oh, that could break an arm. Takes out the knee. Springboard. What? Are you kidding me? Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Both wrists captured, and boom! Good night! What a knee! Deconstructing the knee there. This is an incessant attack being brought to him. Yeah, he has really hit a brick wall here. Oh, vicious knee to the face. Look at this, just unloading! Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are in a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. JD managing to get some control back now. McDonough hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. McDonough starting to get the crowd involved. Oh, man. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD needs to be resourceful in this situation. And misses on the springboard. Stop in the leg. What now? Stop to the belly. Uh-oh. He deflects it right back. Quick 
exchange of counters there. Uh-oh. Bottom -oh. side kick. Bodies have been decimated. Fortitude has been tested. And these fans are showing their approval of these superstars' performances. Capitalizing on JD's mistake. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Retains. No challenger kicks out. Getting. Oh, here it is. The dragon sleeper. Ujinami style. No escape. Submission. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hole. Crucial escape here. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a top. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of That's it. That's one way to get out of it. Pulls the rip cord. Knee strike to the face. This gauntlet match. But there's still three more challengers waiting their turn. Whoa, look who's here. Drew Gulak's ready to run the table. Oh, vicious running knee lift. In the leg. What are we about to see? That was a furious assault from the champion. Each blow coming in harder than the last. And the momentum's clearly against Gulak now. There's no doubt this is a tough spot for Drew Gulak. A third. Every strike more devastating than the last. Taking out the knee. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Oh, ouch. Whoa. Rapid fire stops to the back. Thunder and lightning raining down on the challenger here. Oh, that hurt. He's been quickly taking control here. He's gaining the upper hand here. He saw that one coming. And well-timed maneuver there. Gulak turns it around. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Gulak needed. He got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. Champion looking to defend by cutting the challenger down to size. Well scattered reversal there. He had it scouted. He's looking to get back in this. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. Oh, looking for the regal stretch. Tap out. Oh, great counter. He finds a counter for Gulak. Sent into the corner. High risk area up there. A sell all the way to the outside. Well, that's one way to seize control of a match. Change the location to the ringside area. ADT, crucial reverse. In the cover. He kicks out at two. Almost inhuman at this point. Foot to the lower back. Oh, stop after stop after stop. Jeez. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be nasty. This is going to be bad. What's the impact? Cover. Two count. And it's the end of this round for Gulak. No longer a part of this gauntlet. Another one down in this gauntlet, and there are still two more competitors to come. Time for Briggs to enter the gauntlet and prove something.
flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. Up the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? From the top, oh, straight to the floor. The high risk just resulted in a big splat. Setting up again. Pile driver. Looks like the champ is going to retain. He's looking for yet another exclamation mark. Oh, catches him with the cutter. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Seven. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Too. 
Oh, straight board. Boom! Right on target. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risks with minimal trepidation. No fear. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. Oh, driver. Spiked him. Another one bites the dust to the champ. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. Uh-oh, uh guys, this could be over. Dragon Sleeper locked in deep. Say good. Taps out! That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner, and still the 24-7 champion, the prototype, Brandon. He wasn't giving up that title. No way. What a title defense for him tonight. He came in with that unshakable champion mentality.